Guided Readers, welcome back to Online Guided Reading. Today, we are going to be reading a book called Jack and Daisy Dress Up. This book is about two animals who play dress up. Have you ever played dress up with your friends? Where you put on costumes and pretend to be different things? Or maybe with your cousins or your brother or sister or mom or dad or aunt? You can talk out loud to the screen. Maybe you've even done dress up for Halloween. What are some things you might dress up as? I know I've dressed up as some of my favorite characters from books and movies. I've dressed up as a princess or a doctor or a witch. Lots of fun things to dress up as. Let's go ahead and look at this book. All right, I'm going to be reading the book on my computer. If you have a paper copy of the book, you can follow along in your paper copy. If not, that's okay. Just follow along right on the screen. All right, this book is called Jack and Daisy Dress Up. The first thing I wanna show you is some of the sight words in this book. Sight words can help you anchor your reading. They can help you make sure you're pointing to the right words at the right time, and they help because you know them already. You can read them quickly and easily. Let's go ahead and turn to page two. All right, can you help me find the sight word am? Put your finger under the sight word am. Am. Can you help me find the sight word said? Put your finger under the sight word said. If you need help, think about the first letter sound you hear in said, and then look for a word that starts with that letter. Here it is, said. This dog right here is named Jack. Say that out loud. Jack. What letter sound do you hear at the beginning of the word Jack? Listen closely. Jack. That's right. Jack with a J. J, -j, -j Jack, like J, J. Can you help me find the word Jack? Put your finger under the word Jack. Use that first letter sound to help you. Here it is, Jack. It's the one that starts with a J. Turn the page. This dog is named Daisy. Listen to the word Daisy. What is the first letter sound you hear in the word Daisy? That's right, d d daisy d dog d Can you help me find the word daisy? Put your finger under the word. Use that first letter sound to help you. Here it is, daisy. It's the one that starts with the letter d. There's one more thing I wanna show you before we move on. Look at these things right there. These are called quotation marks. Can you say that word, quotation marks? Quotation marks show that a character is talking. So all these words in here are the words that Daisy says. When you read words in quotation marks, you want to read them just like the character. Watch as I do this. I am a ballerina, said Daisy. See how I read it just like Daisy? You go ahead and try it. Read those words in the quotation mark just like Daisy. You can even make it extra fun by doing a little dog voice like this. I am a ballerina, said Daisy. 
All right, I think it's time to read the book. Let's go back to the very beginning. I'm going to read a page and then I want you to read it after me. Make sure you use your pointer finger to point crisply and cleanly under each word. You can read right on the screen or in your paper copy. Jack and Daisy dress up. Your turn. Turn the page. Let's read the title again. Jack and Daisy Dress Up. Your turn. Turn the page. I am a super dog, said Jack. Your turn. Turn the page. I am a ballerina, said Daisy. Your turn. Remember, if you ever need more time, you can press pause on the video. Turn the page. I am a pirate, said Jack. Your turn. Turn the page. I am a princess, said Daisy. Your turn. Turn the page. I am a pumpkin, said Jack. Your turn. Turn the page. I am a pumpkin too, said Daisy. Your turn. The end. You did a great job reading with me. Before you read on your own, I want to teach you something. I want to teach you that sometimes readers make mistakes. 
where sometimes readers are reading something and they go, hmm, I don't think that's right. That doesn't sound right, or that doesn't look right. Or wait, that doesn't make any sense. And when that happens, readers need to stop, go back and try it again, and try and see if they can correct their reading. Try and see if they can fix it up and make it look right, sound right, and make sense. Let me show you how I do this on a page. Watch as I read. I am a cheetah, said Jack. Uh-oh, wait, I am a cheetah? That doesn't look right with the picture, right? That doesn't make sense with the picture. He's not a cheetah. And wait, that doesn't look right with the letters. This word starts with the letter P. P makes the sound P, P. But cheetah starts with the sound Ch, Ch. So this can't be cheetah. Hmm. Now watch as I do what I taught you. Watch as I go back and try it again. I reread to fix it up and make it look right, sound right, and make sense. I am a pumpkin. I am a pumpkin, said Jack. See how I did that? All right. Each and every day while you're reading, you can do that. If something gets a little hard or you go, wait, that doesn't seem right, you should go back and reread. Reread it again and again until it makes sense, until it looks right and sounds right. All right, let's go ahead and read the book on our own. Go all the way back to the beginning. Remember, you can read in your paper copy or on the screen. Use your pointer finger to read under each and every word. And remember, if something isn't right, go back, reread, and fix it up. Go ahead, read the title of the book. Jack and Daisy dress up. Turn the page. Read the title again. Turn the page. Read the words. Use the picture to help you. Remember, if you need more time, you can pause the video. Turn the page. Read the words. Use the picture and the first letter sound to help you. Turn the page. Read the words. Use the picture and the first letter sound to help you. Turn the page. Read the words. Make sure it looks right with the letters, it sounds right, and it makes sense.
turn the page. Read the words. Remember that you can use the first letter sound to help you figure out words that are tricky. Turn the page. Read the words. Use the sight words to help you check your reading. The end. Great job reading. I'm so proud of you. What were some of the costumes that Jack and Daisy wore? Yeah, they were a ballerina, a pirate, a pumpkin, a super dog. Do you think you would like to play dress up with Jack and Daisy? Why or why not? Yeah, I know some kids would like to play dress up with Jack and Daisy because they have really fun costumes. But I know some other kids might say, nah, I don't really want to play dress up with dogs. Thanks for reading with me today. I had so much fun reading with you. I'll see you next time.